Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2 for Absolute Beginners. And when we last left off, old boy here, uh, Rorges the Seamer, wants to raise up adventurers the 22nd of April, 1241. I'll keep that uh, up there on the bar so I can remember. We also have our claims in Caithness and Buchan that we can press, and we have our Chancellor fabricating here in Gowri as... Well, I mean, we can take the de jure claim on Gowri. I don't think we need to, uh... Yeah, we don't need to actually get that claim there, which is good. And now if we die, of course, uh, we'll have to send our Chancellor back because I don't know if our heir here, uh, Tannis Bressel the Gentle... The Gentle, huh? He's got seven marshals. Seven Marshall? I mean, he's as marshalling as us. <laughs> anyway, we don't know if uh, he will have that claim on Gowrie. He should because it's a de jure claim, but if any of our ducal titles... Well, I mean, we've got the Kingdom of Scotland title. As long as he becomes the King of Scotland, then uh, he will have that claim, so no worries there. I think our Chancellor could be better set on improving opinion on folks. And we do have some folks that are not in jail that don't like us. The Duke of Munster is one of them, and he is reigning in Thoman. So let's go ahead and get our Chancellor down there next August to improve relations down there. So as you can see, the, uh, the revolt in England has kicked off. The Catholic priests are constantly pestering me. No, we'll gain some piety. If we manage to live long enough to get the de jure claim on the Empire of uh, Britannia, that will be very helpful. Where are you going? Defending against Warburg's host. Oh, so they have their, their own adventures coming down here then. Well, don't get wrecked. It'd be a shame if uh, your whole army was wiped out before we declared war. Uh-oh. Ablin is no longer our chancellor. She died a natural death. So we need to get a new chancellor up in here and Fencheska, the Duke of Meath. And you want to be a chancellor. So your opinion will improve quite well. Now you go improve diplomatic relations in Thomond, if you please. Outstanding. So we didn't have to wait uh, to change her over. There is the host and they have more troops than the Queen of Gowrie here, the uh, Princess Imbir of Scotland. Yeah, you better move. Nope, there's the combat. This will be very interesting because if we can catch this army completely destroyed, uh, Gowrie would be very quick to move in. And who knows if, if the host can press the claims. Oh no, they were fought back. I mean, they lost half their troops. 22nd of April, 41. So probably January 41 or so, I'll stand up uh, all of the troops and get them to a central location so we can fight back those adventurers. Jeez, I wish there was like a, a middle of the, the game option that we could turn off adventurers because we're going to waste a lot of manpower and a lot of time fighting against it. Oh, the Welsh Revolt. Wait. Are we allies? Oh yeah, we're allies. Oops. Well, I mean, sure, we'll accept the call. We're not going to give up prestige, but we're also not going to go uh, fight the Welsh Revolt. It's interesting he waited so long to, uh, to ask for help, considering how we were trying to, you know, we took Ormond from him a few episodes ago, and now his uh, country is getting wrecked by the Welsh Revolt. And I don't think it's worth our time, especially with this impending adventurer threat, to dedicate our time or resources into your revolt. So, even though I'm on your side, good sir, um, yeah, good luck. Actually, I think his entire forces are wrecked. Let me see. 2,000 troops, I mean, he... He could raise them up if he wanted to, you know, maybe he's because he's broke. Uh, he can't afford to go to war, but you know what? That's uh, that's on you, buddy. Can't really help you there. Looks like the revolt went what okay for Gowrie. They pushed back um, those adventurers there. But we're about six months away or so 
from these adventurers, or at least standing up against these adventurers, might as well go ahead and do that. We'll raise our personal levies, get them all together, and then we'll raise our vassal levies as well. There we go. All right, all y'all, every last one of you, come down here. And we will let their morale grow. We'll get us a pretty good-sized army. And then we'll be okay. I think we were working on... Yeah, we were trying to kill Princess M here of Scotland. It's got 118% plot power. So, I mean, it, there's enough uh, plot power there to do something. Whether or not they actually follow through is another thing. Yeah, we lose 7 gold a month here while we wait for everyone to get together. We may have raised them prematurely, but I'll just write it out. Ooh, we found the fabled warrior. I will pay. Oh, 50 gold? All right, as the old man struggles to recover from his hangover, you want to improve your martial skill. You ask if he would teach you. You have a deal. And I guess for the time being, we'll stand everybody down and raise them back up again in a few months because we have to make some money here. Uh, we can't afford to go broke while these adventures come in. It only took us a few months to get together, so I think we might be able to go to February. Truces are expiring with the Bold of Wales. I mean, that's good to know that as soon as these, uh, these adventures are dealt with, if we don't lose too many, we can go straight away into Gowrie and Wales. As you walk into his room, you see him trying to catch a fly with a pair of small wooden sticks. You inquire, man who catch fly with chopstick accomplish anything. We gain a marshal, and that is our ambition done. And I think we'll continue to improve marshal through that event. So we can improve our backstabby, we can improve our learning, we can improve stewardship, and we can have a son. Well, we do have a daughter, and I think our wife is past childbearing age anyway. I don't think that would be a good ambition to take, but we can improve our stewardship here get those two stewardship points up and we are just a scant few months away from raising up our levy again we make 10 gold a month and then we lose 17 a month so we're trying to claw back the amount of money um, that we can hold in our war chest before we raise them up oh nice you will be poisoned let's see if the queen is indeed poisoned Oh, and there's our boat trip with the old warrior. You stand in the boat and practice the moves. When are you going to learn how to punch? The man rocks the boat and you lose your footing. You resurface. Learn how to punch after you learn how to keep dry. You all wet behind ear. We gain another martial skill. Now this is really going to help our top levy here, which is really, really good. Um, if we can complete this event in a few months' time. Nice. My complicitly, complicity was discovered. So the queen was killed, but her son, I guess, our rival, will you uh, take vassalization? Nope, false religion. Oh, so he is a, he's a heresy. Interesting indeed. Dusk falls. I teach you many things, Dalaxan, your mentor says, but the most important lesson in fight is not to get hit. The next morning your training concluded and no one ever saw him leave. Two more martial skill. Outstanding. Speaking of which, let's raise everyone up and prepare for this battle. Let's get them all in breath. I'm not exactly sure where these people are going to spawn. But we will get everyone together. They're coming in April. Oh, I guess the, uh, yeah, they're sieging this down. They're losing the war. I wish they would just go ahead and peace out. I know I'm not going to throw anything at them. So here we go. It is almost April. The army should be joining up. Let's go ahead and merge the ones that we can. And assign our commanders. There we go. So leading the center, who do we want? Unyielding is a good one. Brave. Now, we're not going to lead the battle ourselves. Pursuit and damage and defense. Yeah, he's a good one to have in the center, I think. 
The death K. Ooh, good combat bonuses. The bishop there. Uh, let's put the bishop in charge of this flank. And our Duke Tola. Unyielding and Craven, so zero, but a 19% defense. We already got Glillis. 15% morale defense. The Duke of Bressel. He doesn't like us? I mean, he is our heir. Hmm. I really don't want to put our heir in charge uh, because people are going to vote for him to be the double king. And if someone else dies, if, if our heir dies and they can't agree on who should be double king, then we will lose Scotland. Here we go. So the host has indeed declared war, but our troops are ready to go. They're all merged up in a big ball of death. Let's see where they're coming from. Oh, where, oh, where are you, good sir? So you're going to spawn up here in Oriel? Oh, good. Reinforcement rate. We're going to need that once this war is over. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm waiting on you guys. Where are you going to be? We're losing money here just waiting for you. Oh, adventurers. Huh, there's the Welsh Revolt. That's not going well. Hopefully that war ends soon. Oh, is this them? The Sumerian fleet. Now we need Rorge's host. Oh, hello. King Delek. We propose that... Kip Whoa, that's a name. Kerbestan and Princess Miel Marie should get betrothed. And you are the King of England. Oi. I really don't know if I like that. We could keep England at bay for a little bit while we take Wales. I mean, it may fall through. I'll go ahead and take that betrothal. It's not like we're allied yet. And if he isn't even a uh, an heir along the throne, Let's see, where is he? Stigman, Seaward. Yeah, he's not even in line to uh, inherit anything. There you are. Let's see if we can get him on the straight crossing. Where are you going to be? We're, let's march to Ossery. There you are. So 5,000 all you got. Well, I'm sorry to say, good sir. But your morale is suffering. We're going to catch you. And smashy smash. Earl Geralt is asking us to deal with an assass assassination attempt. Let's see. Earl Geralt. He already doesn't like us. We lose some piety. I don't know if I want to grant him a claim, though. Not my call. I won't grant him a claim. I want to try to keep things as uh, in line as I can. Oh, you're going to Osri. Well, I believe you are not going to do well, good sir. We'll go ahead and smash all of this army up. And we should get the Vassal Levies Arrays to Long Alert. Chancellor Diefeed has bribed and threatened his way to my domain, fabricating a claim for his liege, our kinswoman. The weak claim on the Duchy of Meath. Well, I mean, she doesn't really have... Oh, this is the Chancellor of Dyfed, isn't it? Yeah. So, Madan Ubrain. Muadnat. Okay. Muadnat. Let's see what... Huh. I guess he's across the way. Interesting enough. Earl Rol, Rol, Earl Raljic. Nah, he's not in my court. How about my vassals? Earl Ralnick. Nah. Don't see Earl Ralnick. But we're ready to get him just in case. He's decided to go in ahead and use his claim on the county of Leinster. 
interesting enough. Can we use our Chancellor here? He's reigning in Dyfed. I mean, we might. We might be able to uh, increase his opinion some. Let's see, where is even Dyfed? Oh, I see. So he's over there in Wales. Okay. He's not going to use it because we've got 13,000 troops. Plus, we're going to uh, go to war with him anyway. So, oh, nice. Thoman managed to make him understand what a awesome person you are. Plus two. There's the war score we needed. Adventure threat is done. There we go. Let's stand everyone back down, try to get some money built back up, and we do have some claims we can now press. Commander. Adam is okay? Yep, Adam, you're now a commander. Welcome aboard. The Kingdom of Scotland, Duke Tola of Man. So people are not voting my guy into the Kingdom of Scotland. Why is that? Supporters, Duke Darme of Moray and Duke Malcolm of Lothian. Can we try to pick this guy off? Not really. So if that's the case, can we vote Duke Tola as inheritance in Ireland then? No, if we did, Duke Finchesta. So what we can try to do then is find a supporter for Duke Tola, Duke Darme of Moray. Okay, Duke Dharma of Moray. Where are you, Moray? Oh, Moray Eel. That's Earl Agil. Huh, where's old Dookie boy? All right. Tola, there's Darme. Oh, I see. I see. So the Duke of Moray isn't imprisoned. It's only minus 20. If we release him, he'll have positive opinion. We're a title claimant and desires the Kingdom of Scotland. Is he ambitious? He's craven. So I don't think he would go for it. I tell you what, if he really likes us, either that or we can execute him and lose 20 piety, all the vassal's opinion, minus 10. I really don't want to lose vassal opinion. I mean, everyone would kind of still have positive opinion. Let's see. So Darme and Duke Malcolm of Lothian. How's Duke Malcolm? Duke Malcolm. I mean, he likes us a lot. If we send him a gift of 58 gold, let's see if he would rather vote our way. Hey, Malcolm, vote for my guy. Is there an interaction to vote for my guy? Oh, the crusade failed. Oh, well. Let's see. Let's award him an honorary title here, the Keeper of the Swans. How about that? Good job there, Malcolm. Now vote for my guy. I don't think that worked. Because we're voting for Tannis Brazel. And Darme is still voting for... Let's see, can we imprison him? 70% chance, but that's tyrannical. This is kind of a bad situation we find ourselves in because if we split again... Let's see, realm laws. Yeah, we can't change our inheritance. Oh, we're not at peace. Why don't you go ahead and lose your war, buddy? I want to be at peace here. You know what? Can't we just go to war with this guy on top? I mean, I don't want to fight 
those 2,000 troops up there, can we go to war with King Alpin? I think we can. We can claim the Holy War for Albany, the de jure claim on Gowri. We can go ahead and take that. Let's see what province that lies in. The petty kingdom of Gowri is in the kingdom of Scotland. Okay, so Dowri. Does this lady like us? She does. She's got a lot of troops, but not a good heir. But I mean, it really doesn't matter if, if, if that passes through, as long as we can keep family in the kingdom. We could take it and then give it to her. Or we could take it and give it to this guy, Earl Ferghouse. Sort of split the duchy up so that he uh, has the, enough troops. Earl Fergus probably wouldn't be a bad thing. How many troops do you have? 2,000? I think we can do that. Yeah, we've got 5,000. All right, without further ado then. Declare war, we'll t take the de jure claim on Gowri. Then we'll stand up our own levy. Get them all here in Ulster and then do the thing. We should have some pretty good commanders. And hope we don't die. Oh, what's that? The Ulster army. Who are you attacking now? Prince Flannan of Wales and Duchess Ginthad's Merry War. The Mary's War to revoke Oriel. The, the Welsh Civil War for Gavilkine and the de jure war over Gowri. Okay, so what apparently had happened was our vassal noticed that we were making a move on Gowri and he decided to go to war for it. I mean, we could help him out. He was gonna be who we gave the land to anyway. But I mean, do we just sit back and let them, uh, let them do that? Oh, who are you? Earl Flannan is defending against Oriel. All right, so we've got some infighting here, unfortunately. Tola, oh, if this guy dies in battle, that will be amazing, because then they can't vote for the guy. See, Adam had some good stats. Gilwiz had some good stats. And then Ginthad, 15 or a 15. We'll send the count. Awesome. Let's go smashy smash. They only have a couple provinces to siege down as well, which is good. Yeah, as soon as we went to war, they realized that we uh, were sending our troops elsewhere. And there's going to be some infighting amongst us. But we are focused on Gowri. That's where we're going. Yeah, that's some good, good pressure on the flank. Outstanding. Should be very quick here get rid of that. Ooh, we gained some stewardship. That's what we were working on and never a shortage of troops. 22 war score there, going to Fife. We'll see if we can bop this army and then just siege this thing down. Shouldn't take too awful much to do. There's nine war score going back to Gowri. We'll just park our troops there because they won't have enough troops to really do much of anything. Nine gold and we are sieging at 3.7. Oh, you can do something to Fife. Well, we won't let that happen, good sir. We are going to break you. So you can't do anything. Yeah, go back to Gowri. Yeah, some ping pong there. Eight more war score. Let's see if we can just finish him off. That would be uh, handy. Let's go. Auto save, there you go. There you go, nine more war score. We're getting a lot of war score. Um, just getting rid of everything uh, that they have. There's eight more war score. R Radolf was captured, and they only have 3.8 troops. Or 378, I mean, 3.8. I wish it was 3.8. Might as well be 3.8. Now, if we wipe out their whole army, Macbeth was captured. Okay. Well, we won't say that in the theater. All right, let's just go ahead and siege down. They're going to get whatever troops they can together, and if we take a holding, that may be the end of the war. 
Then we can get Gowry. Awesome. So more, uh, more improvement for Duke Bressel. Very good. I still don't like the fact that we may lose Scotland to this guy. I wish Duke Tola would be... Um, and he's not even voting for himself. Or maybe he can't vote. But we are voting for Duke Tannis Bressel. Jeez, I wish this guy would, like, die in a siege. Maybe uh, get sick or something. He's 35. Oh, we just put on our old man face. He's 46. Now, if this guy dies and Tola is voted to be double king, then that's fine. Well, Vess and pro pro Diplomatic Protocol has arrived. A diplomat called Fear Attack. Or we lose prestige. Well, we don't have the 11 gold to really uh, to spend there. There's 100%. Gowrie is ours. Offer the peace. Enforce the demands. The de jure war is over. Stand down these troops really quick, fast, and in a hurry. And let's see. Oh, we're holding that directly. Looks like we can hold five out of five. Then we shall do such things as these. Awesome. So that should, looks like a good stopping point, ladies and gentlemen. We have some vassals fighting amongst themselves. I think next episode... No, we're not going to lose money. We're trying to gain money back. We're only making nine gold a, a pop here. Speaking of which, a hundred... Oh, Bishop Seamus. Send him a gift, 37 gold. Let's see if we can find someone cheaper that we can pay off. Torsion, 23 gold. You're pretty... Uh, Pretty cheap. Moran, 29 gold. That's good. We'll pay you off. And then we'll send our uh, our court chaplain to Connacht. See if we can improve his... Uh, improve his standing of us. And then once this Welsh war is done, it looks like the, the Welsh war is about to, uh, to end. Then we can go straight into the war against Wales. And I think this is the last remaining. Now, yeah, he still won't do it. Oh, Fanchesta the Wise. Interesting. So did our Tannis die? Fanchesta. So three voters to two. So if we nominate Fanchesta... Then we'll secure him. We just need to get him nominated over here. Nominate Finchesta. We still need Duke Tola to die. 59. I mean, he kind of likes us, do we? See what kind of support we can get here. Only 4%. 14 and 14. That's not going to be enough. 13 and 12. And 8. Why do you have a terrible opinion of me? Have high crown authority and the known murderer. Prestige is keeping him up. Paying him off won't help, but that would be incredible. If we awarded or... Let's see. Yeah, his, uh, his price is way too high. We'll just have to sort of wait here, I think. We'll abandon that plot. Hey, Duke Bressel, why do you hate us? People kind of want to get rid of this guy. And I mean, he's not going to be our heir. We can invite a whole lot of people. Yeah, a whole lot of people want him dead. Yeah, take a look at that. Most of the bishops do. 
to, to find that you have a county in your domain that has turned heretic is bad enough, but I'm shocked to learn that you have let this situation be for over two years. The heresy must be rooted out. Oh, let's go to our religious map mode. So Gowry is a heretic, and Tevitdale is a heretic. Interesting. Then we shall redouble our efforts in July then. Interesting, the Pope is, uh, the Pope's not liking the way we're doing business. And I'm not liking the way. Come on, Wales, end the war. I want to be out of this war to see if I can do full council authority. One of these must be true. One of these must be true. Oh, what's going on now? Tevitdale. No one will object. I mean, he kind of likes us, and it's not a good shot. It's only 1,000 troops, though. How does the air like us? The air absolutely hates us. So we're not going to throw you in jail. We, we're just going to ask you to end your plot then. Very dangerous to have someone come of age that really doesn't like us. Your men drag Constantine. Oh, yeah. Prisoners. Can we ransom anybody? Darme. 145 gold. He like... I think if we let him out of jail... Sure. Go ahead. He'll pay the gold. We'll get rich. We'll get some money. He'll lose the imprison modifier. Dirk, Duke Bressel the Gentle... Well, crap. My reputation is ruined. Way to go, Mayor. Marcus Carrington in the Peasant Revolt of Carrick. Okay, where are you then? Peasant. Peasants have risen up in Carrick. Okay, so I'm going to leave this episode here then, ladies and gentlemen. Inter interesting uh, plot development. We've got some uh, infighting amongst our group. The Welsh is about to lose their war. They're at 100% war score, which should change hands here. Uh, and then we've got a peasant revolt that we get to deal with with our 5,600 troops. But that's going to do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, of Crusader Kings 2. Next episode, we deal with these. We'll move into Wales, and we'll see if our truce ends with... Uh, King Alpin, so we can get this de jure claim here for the, the Hebrides. Just before I go, how are things here with the Empire of Britannia? You control 41%, you need to control 80%. So a few provinces here and there and Wales will get us closer. Unfortunately, if we lose Scotland, we're going to lose all of this territory again. So we're almost like spinning our wheels here until we can uh, pass a law that allows absolutely everything to be passed down to one character, no matter what. It's going to raise revolt like crazy. But that'll be, uh, that'll be interesting. But that's going to do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next Crusader Kings 2 video. Take care.